So I've got a pair of line segments here and I can see that they divide the space a little bit. They divide it into this we can call interior space and this is exterior. So let's go ahead and we'll color the interior space. and exterior space so you can see it. So here's interior from the Latin uh, meaning within and here's exterior space. Now when I put a line segment here, that creates a number of angles. And this line, when it's crossing, uh, when it's crossing other lines like this, we can call it a transversal. It means to cut across. And so this tr transversal creates a number of angles in here. Uh, the angles formed on this interior space are called interior angles. So let's kind of mark those with, with some pins. I'll mark the interior angles with some red pins. And then these angles are exterior angles. Let's mark those angles. So we have some exterior angles and some interior angles. Well, there's something else we can look at when we have uh, lines that are cut by a transversal. All right, now today, let's see if we could find some vertical angles. I see a pair of vertical angles here. Let's, let's mark those vertical angles. These are a pair of vertical angles. And yeah, these are another pair. Let's put those in a different color. And sure enough, here's another set of vertical angles. Another pair here. And another pair here. Now let's see if we could find some other pairs of angles. Do you see any supplementary angles? So maybe we could mark the supplementary angles in uh, pairs. So here's a set of supplementary angles, these two. And these two and yeah these two and these two now there's some other things we can talk about with the names of these angles when we've got two lines cut by a transversal so i see this angle here and this angle here. And they're both interior angles, but they're on uh, sort of opposite sides of the transversal. 
and we call those angles alternate interior angles. So I'm going to mark those two. Alternate interior. An alternate comes from a Latin word meaning one after the other, and that's sort of how they are. You know, they're one after the other interior here. And so we have another pair of alternate interior angles. So let's mark those. And now I can see we've got some alternate exterior angles as well. You can see we've got this one and this one. These are alternate exterior angles. And we have this one and this one that are alternate exterior angles as well. All right, there's one more thing to talk about with angles created by a transversal. I can see I have an angle here that's on this side of the transversal and on the side of that line. And I have an angle here that is on the same side of the transversal and you know above this line as well. But this angle is in the exterior space and this angle is in the interior space. We call this pair of angles corresponding angles. So let's mark them in the same color. These two are corresponding angles and these two are also corresponding angles. And we've got another pair right here and another pair here. You might like to explore some different types of angles here. You might like to create some uh, pairs of lines cut by a transversal and see how many different types of angles you can name.